welcome this is the energy vibration um reading for the gemini sun moon and rising sign for the month of january this month of january has to do with the hermit whatever the issues and situation that's fail the energy of the hermit is here and we're going to be looking at this situation and see what exactly is coming out so gemini's um remember in order to get the extended of this reading I see the towel moment coming out for you Gemini's go check out the um, the extended reading because I see the towel moment in the first week coming out for you Gemini's okay so um, in order to see the extended of this reading you have to be a member of my channel so use the link here or there um, to choose and be a member of the channel the energy of the tower is here and the energy of the tower is in the first week and it's also in the general reading go back and look at the general reading whenever the energy of the tower comes out that means there is something that you're releasing in the first week you need to release the situation in the second week I see you're trying to bring balance back in your life after releasing the situation the person of issue whatever that was transpiring in the second week it is an hurt energy that is coming up in the third week I see you end a cycle to a situation that has been transpiring in your life you Gemini's you're ending a cycle and you're moving forward and leaving whatever that situation is or was behind you wheel of fortune come in the third week this is positive whatever is transpiring expect some good news from the third week going in the fourth week the fifth week because there's five week this is your energy vibration Gemini's the fifth week is going to be very wonderful very positive so let's go and see what is the alignment of energies so the fifth week of January Gemini's is going to be your week there is no questions about this whatever is transpiring in the world of you Gemini's in the fifth week um, as it comes on to the third week because you're ending a cycle in the third week as you move on in the fourth week fourth week fifth week is going to be very beautiful for you Gemini's in the month of January please remember share these videos share notifications set your notification on and like and share these videos just constantly share these videos you can um, catch me on Friday evening live if you would like to um, it's wonderful all right so some message came out so I see you Gemini's having some disappointment in the first week going in the second week so whatever is transpired disappointment comes up for you Gemini's so however this is coming up in your life and whatever is leaving you feel disappointed about this situation leaving your life in the first week going in the second week in the third week you're dealing with a young person this is a Pisces cancer or scorpion whoever this person is I see you bringing an end to a situation with this young man now this young man is between the age of 18 and 45 um, for some of you you could be it could be your child or it could be someone a young person that you have to deal with I see you ending this situation it could be also ending a love relationship as we move um, to the third week going in the fourth week I see you dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so what is coming up for some of you you could be leaving a Pisces cancer a scorpion behind and choosing to be with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person I see you're going to be successfully overcoming a situation I see that some of you are going to be realizing that this young person is a person that is much better I see money is coming in as you leave the fourth week going in the fifth week I see money is definitely coming in so um, for some of you this is unexpected money that could be coming in because it could be also winning the lottery because the magician and the ace of pentacles with the wheel of fortune is here so your luck Gemini's is in the third week going and the fourth week going in the fifth week it has to do with financial stability that is going to be coming up in your world in the second week when you're trying to find balance you're trying to find balance over lies and deception that was created by a young scorpion okay so this is a young scorpion person that has created some lies and deception and you're trying to balance this out in the second week so there is regrets this could be someone on the work floor this could be a friend this could be someone you were in a relationship with but you're ending this 
as we look at the middle of the month with the third week you have the energy of the four of pentacles this is wonderful because i see that you guys are trying to build back financial stability in your world so this is good because it can be the first payout after um the christmas season and that sort of a thing so you're having financial stability some of you could be dealing with a Pisces cancer a scorpion these are young people they're coming up as kids so it could be your kids but some of you could be in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion or a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I see the Capricorn Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is going to be giving you luck I see you're leaving an issue with the, um, the water sign people okay and you're building back your financial stability as we move forward we're looking at the fourth week the fourth week I see you overcoming a situation with an old person this is a person over um, 55 years and older you're dealing this was a karmatic situation dealing with this person a whole lot of money that this person has to repay you okay so this person is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius they have stolen a whole lot of money it's coming out in the fourth week and they have to repay you all of this money okay however they have taken the money from you they have to repay it so it could be an ex boss for some of you it could be a deceptive business person they have to pay it back here we go again we're seeing a deceptiveness that some of you were dealing with a scorpion or a Pisces lies and deception I see you're definitely turning your back at these water sign people and moving forward and this is going to be coming up as you leave the second week going in the third week then I see happiness and joy that you're reconnecting in the third week going in the fourth week with um, family and friends you're reconnecting with family and friends and some of you could be reconnecting with a uh, Capricorn person a young Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person you could be reconnecting with and I see some of you helping this person and letting this person know that an Aries an old Aries Leo or Sagittarius person have done them some deceptiveness so I see you telling this um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person that sort of a situation success is the outcomes for you um, Gemini in the month of January this is beautiful success is here for um, you guys this is a wonderful energy vibration that success comes up the number six is all all about materialistic you're building back your materialistic world and success is coming out for you guys number six comes up twice um you need to use the number six as the energy vibration so i see some of you leaving at um the the water signs behind and moving towards the earth sign which this is good because you're leaving the emotional aspect of yourself behind and moving towards building on something very positive in your life and this is going to be good because you end up 666 pleasure with family reconnecting with friends and family and that sort of a thing so this is good so success is your outcomes for this month for you Gemini's so let's move in and look and see who and what you'll be dealing with so as we look at the first two weeks we see you have some disappointment where is this disappointment is coming in for the Gemini disappointment with a, a legal suit for some of you and disappointment with a liberance for some of you um, is coming up disappointment with a conflict that has been going on and for that has been transpiring so that is what you're going to be having and there could be someone whoever is leaving your life you need to let them go and whatever the situation is let it go because you're going to be fine and balanced in the second week in the second week going to the third week I see you have burdens that you're carrying because of a young um, Pisces cancer or a scorpion you're carrying some burdens because of a young Pisces cancer or a scorpions but this burden is going to be ended okay then as we look at the third week going in the fourth week I see um, some of you are worried about a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person whoever this person is you're very worried about this person it could be a child but it could be someone else but I see you worried about this person however this person is coming up in your life 
I see that some of you might have to be paying back some money you Gemini's whatever that has happened and transpired I see you might have to be paying back some money however this is transpiring I see you Gemini pay um, have to pay back some money in the third week when in the fourth week as we may move forward I see whatever the deceptiveness is that some of you are dealing with Pisces cancer or scorpion whatever the deceptiveness I see they're coming back and offering you love and this is coming up as a child this, this whatever the um, um, disappointment is with these water sign people I see they're coming up and offering you love but it is whether or not you're going to be accepting this because you realize how deceptive they were some of you are dealing with a Capricorn man or a Capricorn young lady whoever this person or whoever these people are this could be a boss and people on the work floor where some of you are going to be finding out that a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn have stabbed you in the back okay so be aware of that whatever is transpiring because it's a karmatic issue between you and this person there is an old Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man that is um, standing up and affecting some of you and you're going to be finding out some lies and deception I see love is coming in from a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person for you Gemini's I see you're going to take this because you found out what an Aries Leo or Sagittarius has done this person and I see you really connecting with this person letting this person know exactly what has transpired and I see that some of you are going to be helping this person to reconnect and regain financial stability in their world as we look I see some deceptiveness that taken place and some worries that is coming up and it has to do with the young Aries Leo or Sagittarius now a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius some of you could be having some issues with and it could be have to deal with money but whatever is transpiring, I see that you Gemini's are going to be coming over this situation and you're going to be offered something. So what you could be offered is an apology and whoever this Aries Lee or Sagittarius, because you guys could be father figure that you're having issues with and your father is going to be offering you um, help or an apology. But what I'm seeing here is that I see that people in power is going to be realizing or there could be a situation that people are going to be realizing what some young Aries Leo or Sagittarius has done. Definitely, I see a lot of you walking away, turning your backs to issues and situations. The Eight of Cups is where people um, with their emotions are moving forward, leaving some a hop a evil that happened with the energy of the tower in the first week and leaving that and moving forward. I see as you move forward you're going to be successful okay so as you leave, move forward um, in this month you're going to be extremely successful because you're realizing that it's much better to leave whatever that emotional issues and situation you are dealing with behind because the tower comes and took that away so definitely I see some of you really going to be really connecting um, as you move forward so as we recap and we look at the first week the first week has some disappointment with either issues um, in balance of issues I see love is coming in but it is as if you do not want this love because you were stabbed in the back by someone and you're finding out what is transpiring in the second week I see you're carrying some burdens that a, um, a water sign person have created for you but I see your center is that you're trying to build back your financial stability and this is looking really wonderful as you move out going to the third week fourth week especially the third week is that some of you are worried about a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I see this young person coming in and offering you love and I see that you guys are going to be helping this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn young lady to um, and tell this young lady what an older man has done that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius so I see you really telling this young lady that it's you know whatever has transpired between you and I is it's caused by an older Aries Leo or Sagittarian man and kind of apologizing because I see the ace of cups and a lot of love is coming in some of you if you're pregnant you could be having this baby in the first week or the second week 
as we move forward I see the wheel of fortune is bringing financial abundance but it could be coming into some of you or some of you could be paying out but I see as you decide to move away from an emotional situation that is transpiring I see you're going to be successfully overcoming issues and situation so um, really um, whoo Gemini this is um, this is really what there's a, a lot of worries and a lot of burdens that is transpiring but you know you're gonna be definitely um, overcoming these um, situation that is happening so let's see what is coming out for the Gemini's for the month of January what could they tell us so there is going to be a resolution if there was situation where there was regrets and you know some deceptive situation that has played with a water sign person I see a resolution is coming up because I see help is going to be coming in I see this person is returning to you and kind of offering you love and you're like no I've seen you for who you are no thank you some of you were dealing with some situation at work because I see um, the manager is here the business some of you were dealing with situation at work and I see um, some burdens some lies and deception that is going to be coming out that you're going to be finding out about but I see you're going to be overcoming this and this is going to be good because I see an apologize coming in for some of you um, and some of you could be apologizing and especially to a young Taurus um, because I see love coming in and the offer of love where the universal angels is saying you know we are so sorry about what has transpired then we see some changes coming up because with whatever the issue and the situation is that is ending I see some changes is coming up what when it has to do with a young Aries Lee or Sagittarius I see you guys are going to be moving forward from these people and these situation and that is good I see conflicts coming up with and uh, an old man is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius I see conflicts coming up and um, whatever this conflicts is this conflicts is created by two older person a Taurus Virgo and a Capricorn I see conflicts coming up between these people that is transpiring I see a lot of deceptiveness that is playing out but you're going to be successfully overcoming nasty deceptiveness that is playing out but whatever is transpiring is as if you guys are going to be coming out of this unexpectedly like you know it's like a miracle something just unexpected up then um, there was lies and deceptive and jealousy that has played and you are turning your back walking away you're going to be successful coming out of a nasty negative issue and situation that has played ladies and gentlemen it is just so much I you know ending um, 2019 coming in it is just so much but you just have to learn to deal with people and situation as it comes along in your life okay so I see issues up the work floor for some of you who are working for some of you who are not working I see this is not the month to, to um, look for anything you can look but it's gonna be happening in the month of February so I see the mug wood and this is rituals of passage rituals of passage so you guys have the energy of rituals of passage that is coming up this is wonderful this is good so this is where the miracles happens for you guys in this month as we look we have the other message for you guys to keep yourself from becoming an empathy that is absorbing the pain of others keep mirrors around you and diffuse negative energies from you so whatever is to inspire just keep mirrors just visualize yourself with a lot of mirrors around you you keep negative forces and negative energies away from you because this is a situation that is definitely coming up where a lot of you are going to be taking up other people negativity and you have to learn to place other people negativity away from you and whatever deceptiveness that is going on you kind of place that away from you because that is what is going to be affecting you guys okay so um the month of january is really not looking bad for you gemini's realign yourself with the energies and be open to changes because a lot of changes I see new babies is going to be bo be born or some of you could be um yeah it's mostly new babies is born I see apologizes and healing is going to be coming in 
um please remember like share these videos for the extended of this video you gotta use the link below use this link um to connect to the channel and join i love you guys i'm out namaste until next time